Hey guys, it's Dave for Gamers on Games, and we are doing day 21 of the 30 day D&D challenge. Today we are talking about our favorite dragon. This is going to be type, color, the whole nine. Now I'm kind of going to go, go a different way with this, because I'm kind of going to break this down as to how I kind of see it. Now my favorite one to actually throw at players, I like black dragons and green dragons. They're devious, they're crafty, and they are so sadistically evil. And I kind of like that. I like the fact that they have that just that raw sadism. And I think there's a lot to be used with that. I think that uh, they can, even though they're not the biggest of dragons, the fact that they just are so brutal, I think can be a lot of fun. Uh, I have used, and I've, I've talked about this previously, I had a dragon that was trying to raise an army in a character's a starting gulch, and um, the dragon was actually, it was a green or black dragon at this point, I don't even remember which, but it just worked out really nicely. So for me, I'm going to go, you know, black and green for, you know, evil dragons to throw at good parties. Um, as for like good dragons, going to kind of go with silver. I never really liked the way gold dragons ever really looked, um, but something about silver dragons always kind of resonated with me. They look cool. Um, I kind of like the way that they kind of think about things and their, their personalities, or always the personalities that they're described to have, both in the Draconomicon and in the actual base Monsters Manual. Uh, I found that really useful. I found that to be um, really productive, actually. So for me, silver dragons for good dragons. Um, as for the more unique dragons, um, I like pseudo dragons. I think they're really cool, familiar if you're allowed or able to finagle getting one. Um, pseudo dragons, for people who don't know, they're the smaller dragons. They, you know, they're, they're shoulder dragons. And who doesn't want a shoulder dragon? I mean, yeah, you can have a full size dragon and you have a mount, but do you really want something that's going to grow up to be smarter than you are? No, I'd rather have something that's at least a little bit dumber. <laughs> that's why it's a pet. That's why it's a fire. I mean, it can be more insightful, it can give you a different point of view, but the idea of it being uh, just out and out better than you are, especially when you start getting up in levels, or even when you're on the, the downside of that bell curve, yeah, it doesn't work for me. But I think uh, pseudo dragons are a really cool thing, and if you haven't checked them out, I really highly recommend you do so. Um, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Uh, also, I'm a big fan of the Dracolich. Come on, it's a giant, pissed off, undead dragon. Do not confuse them for skeletal dragons or zombie dragons. They are something completely else. They are liches, but dragons. So it's a it's a it's a mother lich. It's a lich dragon. I don't know. I had something I was going with with this, but in all honesty, dragon liches. If you don't know, look it up. You'll understand why I have a fascination with them. So and then. Um, for really unusual dragons, I kind of got a thing for the dragon turtle. It's an aquatic type dragon. It is a turtle and it's a dragon. Two of my favorite things. I mean, the only thing better would be like dragon shark, which I'm now that I'm saying that I've got a feeling that that's in there somewhere. I mean, it's not a boule, but it's a, it's a dragon and a shark. If you put a freaking laser beam on its head, now you're talking. You got a dragon and a shark and a laser beam coming off its head. I'm, I'm, I gotta go stat that now. <laughs> maybe maybe that'll make that in its own episode. The the dragon shark with a laser beam on its head. All right. So I think that'll do for us talking about dragons today, and uh, we will see you guys uh, for day 22 at this point. And we are nearing the end. We're in the home stretch. So day 22 of the 30-day D&D challenge. I guess we'll see you guys uh, next episode. See you tomorrow. Dave, signing out. Gamers on Games is sponsored in part by... And by viewers like you.